everybody, my expect the comics, and I'm back. This time, I went to an in-person auction at an LCS. If you want to see what books I ended up picking up and my experience there, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you'll get in a timely fashion. Like I said, ended up going to an LCS. It was, um, they were doing an auction in there as well. From what I gathered, they do one a month, the first weekend of that month. So if you're ever in the Denver area and you wanted to check out an in-person auction at an LCS, uh, swing by Mutiny Comics. It's a really cool shop. Um, it's a cafe as well. Really cool vibe. They got, you know, they play some good music. Um, they got a couple of uh, arcade games there. They got some old books. They got some comic books. They got some records. It's a fun little shop. Um, so, you know, I've been there a few times, ended up picking up some cool books there in the past. So then when I found out they had an auction, I was like, all right, well, let me check it out. What's the worst that can be is uh, I don't get anything. So, uh, <laughs> Had some free time and uh, ended up going to the um, shop. It was from like, I think, 1 to 4 p.m. So I uh, got there a little after 2. And um, I go in the back, you know, looking to see where the auction is. So it actually was in the back room where they have all the, uh, the old, like, you know, vintage books. And uh, I see a guy dressed up as the, uh, as the Riddler. <laughs> it's like doing the actual uh, the auction. And I thought this was pretty funny. This is going to be a pretty cool, you know, laid back time. Uh, it was a decent amount of people in there, probably like just under 15 people in there. And a lot of the books, they start off at like a dollar. So it was pretty cool. And it was um, Batman themed with the actual, you know, with the movie that just came out. So um, it was going to be a lot of heavy, you know, DC, uh, Detective Comics, Batman, and anything related to it. And then obviously they put some um, indies, some Marvels and stuff like that. But it was going to be heavily on the the, uh, the DC books. Um, so I go there, go in the back, and then uh, this you know guy pulls up a chair for me. It was really nice. And uh, I was like, all right, you know, get my son over to sit next to me. And uh, he started, you know, getting nervous and freaking out because he saw a bunch of people just sitting there, um, you know, and they were bidding. Didn't really know what was going on. <laughs> so... I tried several times for about, you know, just under five minutes to uh, get him to just sit next to me, keep him busy, and uh, he wasn't having it. So uh, I didn't get a chance to uh, actually participate in the auction, which was uh, a bit of a bummer. I was hearing it while I was um, well, right around the corner because that's where they have the actual comic books. So um, instead of participating in the auction, which would have been pretty fun, they give you like an actual, like, you know, handle of uh, what your number on it and you can actually bid with a, uh, with a paddle or whatever it's called and um, it seemed like a lot of fun but um, I didn't get a chance to actually participate so I ended up doing some uh, back issue hunting and um, I picked up three books um, so it was pretty cool had a fun time either way so I'll just show you what books I got pretty quickly and this will be like I said it'll be uh, this will be a quick video so first book I ended up picking up was um, Star Wars issue number 20. This is from, I believe this is from the current run. All right, it's it's kind of hard to follow because there's so many like Star Wars series, uh, titles out right now. You got Star Wars, you got Star Wars Darth Vader, High Republic. Um, I believe High Republic Adventures just finished up as well from IDW. And then you got your uh, Dr. Aphra. There's just so many different titles. So it's, uh, I know this is, one of the current runs because it's uh, Charles Soule, but um, ended up getting this for uh, cover price, and this is the first appearance of Elzar Man. Uh, I believe it's um, a Jedi, and there's a little bit of speculation that this uh, this uh, character could you know potentially show up in a in an upcoming series. You know, a lot of the like I've been saying in previous videos, the Jedi's, especially in the newer. The newer appearance Jedi is the ones to look out for when you're when you're hunting, because uh, the uh, High Republic is going to be heavily uh, Jedi based. And look them out too for the um, the Obi Wan Kenobi series as well. 
And then uh, I was looking around in the X-Men, X-Men uh, back issue bins and um, ended up finding some uh, pretty cool like later end uh, keys. So um, I'll show you what I got real quick and then that'll be it for this haul. So I um, was looking in the um, X-Force, X-Factor for just some like later stuff and ended up finding, which I thought was a pretty cool cover, and I didn't know this was a first appearance, but um, this is X-Force issue number 126, and um, this is the first cover appearance of Dead Girl, which is this character right here. Put this in a little bit closer. It's a really cool cover. I like, I know, obviously the um, horror, you know, genre a little bit more. And this is a really cool cover. You see Dead Girl on there. It's her first cover appearance. Um, you can see she's being covered there by the gravestone. And it looks like there's some something coming out of the uh, the grave. It could be a zombie. It could be, a, I don't know. It, it just looks really cool cover. Uh, I'm not familiar with this little green dude up here in the top, <laughs> top right corner. I know he's a, um, uh, I can't think of the, the character's name, but he, he's, a, he's a little niche character that people like as well. But I got that one and ended up picking up this book here as well, which this is issue number 129. Um, it's actually another really cool cover. I, it almost looks like it's an, an homage to a, an older book. I just can't think of what it is or what I'm thinking of in general. But um, you know me, I like to collect final issues, especially in long runs. And then, like I said, 129 issues is a very lengthy run. So um, for me to find that there, I was pretty surprised. I ended up picking this one up for, uh, let's see what I write it down, $4. So uh, really cool cover. Um, I like the trade dress. The trade dress on the uh, X-Force run is actually pretty neat. And uh, with these two books... You know, this book has no spec value whatsoever because it's, you know, it's a final issue, but they're, you know, they're hard to find. So that's where the value is, just that it's a final issue. And Dead Girl, not too familiar with the character, but um, obviously going into the Phase 4, Phase 5, they're going more supernatural, they're going more horror, a little bit of, you know, which is, like I said, in my alley. It's a fun book to pick up. Um, they didn't have 125, which is her first appearance which I would have picked up too because it would have been a fun pairing. But um, I'm glad I got that book either way. So uh, that's it. You know, hopefully um, uh, next month when they have the uh, auction, if I'm free, if I'm not working, I try to check it out and actually participate. And, uh, if I do, I'll, I'll make a video on that as well. But uh, until next time, this is Mark Spector Comics. Out.